Hey, 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 everybody. Good evening, good evening. This is Minister Vanessa with Trinity Destined Ministry on our Sunday night, eight o'clock live prayer. I just wanted to uh, go ahead and, and get our prayer line started. So anyone who's out there, please let me know you're there. Hey, Brother Cornell, good to see you on tonight. Um, anybody else, please let me know that you're out there. Just giving a couple minutes on tonight to let folks go ahead and join and participate in. Um, as always, as you join, please remember to also go ahead and share. Invite some others also to participate in our prayer on tonight. Also, we're going to continue to um, open up the requests uh, line also for any prayer requests before we get started. Hey, Miss Antonia, good to see you on. Uh, good to see you earlier today as well. Dr. Smiley, you, is also, you also, I thank you so much um, for joining on tonight. I really, really hope that everyone had a great Thanksgiving. We're winding up our Thanksgiving weekend. Hopefully um, you all didn't get caught in the shopping drama <laughs> of the weekend. Um, I'm not going to say I didn't go. I did go very briefly, spent a little bit, but um, I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm just so grateful. God is good. Hello, Greg Espy. Good to see you on. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, so, yes, I hope everyone had a great, great Thanksgiving, got a chance to spend some time uh, with family, with friends, with loved ones. Um, that you were able to really share the love of God with other people um, this holiday season. And of course, it's not over yet. Christmas is just around the corner, if you can believe it. It's almost time for Christmas already. Um, I can tell you I'm not ready. <laughs> so, uh, but as, as always, it's coming and we do what we do and we just give God the glory as, as it comes and always remember what the season, who the season is really about. So we're just going to give another minute or two to give folks a time to um, log in as well. So um, again, if there are any prayer requests, please let me know. I'm going to go ahead and jot those down if there are any in particular. If not, that's okay too. We're, we're just going to um, talk to God on tonight, um, commune with him a little bit as we end out our Sunday night, end out our, our Thanksgiving weekend. Um, <clears throat> hi, hello, Elder Dykes, Sister Brown, good to see you as well. Um, again, go ahead and share. Take a moment to share before we get started also. Um, invite some other folks on, okay? Wonderful, wonderful. I do hope everyone is doing doing well. Um, has got some some rest over the some rest over the weekend anyway as we're getting ready now to start into another week work week for many um, so we're going to take tonight to try to regroup um, and uh, refresh ourselves and wind ourselves down a little bit and just take some needed rest with our God and um, allow Him just to rejuvenate us on tonight and get us ready for tomorrow for he uh, knows exactly what's coming our way. He's in control of everything that's ahead of us. And we just trust and believe that he, he's, he's got it. He's, he's, he's taking care of everything. And we're just along for the journey. We're just along for the ride. So we want to be in tune with his leading, with his Holy Spirit. Um, so that's that's what we're gonna what we're gonna pray about on tonight and make sure that we are connected and in tune with his leading. Amen. So um, it's about 804. I'm just gonna give one minute to make sure that folks have time to to join in as well. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, we're going to uh, read tonight from the book of Romans. I think we're going to do Romans uh, 13. And we're going to start at verse 8 and go ahead and read um, all the way to the end of the chapter. We'll read all the way through to the end of chapter 13. Okay. 
All right, so it's 8.05. Hey, my cousin, good to see you on, Miss Misha Shaw. My brother Dwayne, thanks for, for all that you did for me today. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Good to see you on as well. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Miss Amy Davis, good to see you as well. All right, Dr. Smiley, pray for my sister, Wyoming. Okay, who has admitted? Okay. Wow. Okay. Absolutely. I will make a note also of that. If there are any other prayer requests, please let me know. I hope Dr. Smiley, I'm pronouncing this right. Wyomia. I hope that's right. Okay. Okay. Anyone else that might have any special, special prayer requests on tonight? All right, I am going to go ahead and read our brief scripture for tonight. And um, as we're doing that, I'm just going to do one more reminder. Make sure to, to share if you haven't done so. Um, and after that, we'll get right into prayer. So again, just as I'm reading, feel free. If, if something comes to mind that you feel we need to add into this prayer, go ahead and just let me know before we get into our prayer, okay? All right, Dwayne, I see you. Oh, gosh. Okay. All righty. I've got that Elder Jordan's brother. Okay. All right, Pastor Jordan. Mm. All right. Are there any others? Just let me know. We're going to go ahead and get into some scripture. Okay. As I stated, we're going to come from Romans. So tonight we get to hear a little bit from Paul. And we're going to start at verse 8. In this particular section um, is subtitled, Love Fulfills God's Requirements. Hello, Bobby McClendon. Good to see you. Love Fulfills God's Requirements. And once again, I'm reading from actually uh the new living translation i'm, I'm finding I, I really like it a lot the way that it reads and speaks to us so romans 13 verse 8 it says owe nothing to anyone except for your obligation to love one another if you love your neighbor you will fulfill the requirements of god's law for the commandments say you must not commit adultery. You must not murder. You must not steal. You must not covet. These and other such commandments are summed up in this one commandment. Love does not wrong to others, so love fulfills the requirements of God's law. This is all the more urgent, for you know how late it is. The time is running out. Wake up, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is almost gone. The day of salvation will soon be here. So remove your dark deeds like dirty clothes and put on the shining armor of right living because we belong to the day. We must live decent lives for all to see. Don't participate in the darkness of wild parties and drunkenness or in sexual promiscuity and immoral living or in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, clothe yourself with the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ and don't let yourself think about ways to indulge your evil desires. All right, so that was Romans 13 verses eight through verses 14. Amen. So he's telling us that love fulfills God's requirements. So he's laid it all out for us. We have we have to love. We have to exhibit love. We have to 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 love our neighbors. Um, this this is our obligation. It says we are to do that. We are to do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get get into our prayer on tonight. I didn't see any other any additional prayer requests come through. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get started and folks can 
can join in as we go before God on tonight. All right, so um, I do have the two prayer requests before me, so we're going to go ahead and move move forward if that's okay. All right, so all minds clear, our hearts open and ready to receive all that God has for us on tonight as we calm ourselves on this Sunday evening, oh God. Father, we just thank you, Lord God. We ask now that your Holy Spirit would just have his way, oh God, on tonight and just move among us, oh God. Help us, oh God, Father, Father God, to be in tune to your voice, to be in tune to your spirit, to be in tune to your leading on tonight, Father God. We thank you, hallelujah, to your holy and your righteous name for the honor and the privilege, Lord, that you have put in place Father God, a mechanism, Father God, that we can come before you one-on-one, face-to-face for ourselves, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you let us be this close to you, oh God, that we can have a conversation with you uh, just one-on-one, Father God. We don't need um, a priest to go before us, oh God. Father God, Jesus took care of that, Father God. He went beyond the veil, God, and tore down the curtain, Father God, so that, Father, we could enter in. I thank you, God, Lord, that we could enter in, Father God, and be uh, with you, oh God, for ourselves. Father, we thank you, God, that you have made it so that we can have that kind of relationship with you, Father God. We thank you, For your son, Jesus Christ, and his shed blood on the cross for our sins, oh God. Father God, that we could be justified, oh God. Father God, that we can uh, be redeemed back to you, God. We thank you, Lord, that you have chosen to seek after us, oh God. That you seek after us, Lord God. That you choose us, Lord God. Your creation, oh God. Your children, oh God. Father, we thank you, God, that we belong to you, God. Hallelujah, God. And we know that we are kept, oh God. Father God, for those who have chosen to make you, God, our Lord and our Savior, oh God. Father, those who have chosen to believe in your son, Jesus Christ, Father, we know that we are kept by you, God. And we're just so grateful, Father God, that to, to know that we are a kept people, Father. Hallelujah, Father. We honor you tonight. We reverence you tonight. We worship you tonight. Father, we're seeking after after you, God, more and more of you, God, on tonight. So we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity once again, Father God, just to to have this time of of rest, oh God, to have this time, oh God, just to come together, oh God, as one body, oh God. Father God, just to go before your throne of grace, Lord God, and Father God, to issue our petitions unto you, God, on tonight, Father God. We thank you, God. For your word, oh God, that teaches us and leads us and guides us, oh God, that we may have instructions for living this life, oh God. We thank you, God, for your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, God. When Jesus prayed to you and asked you to send us the Holy Spirit, Father, you sent us your Holy Spirit to be our advocate, our counselor. Father, we thank you, God, that we have him and he lives in us, oh God. We thank you, God. Father God, that we are led by him, Father. We thank you, God, that he regenerates us and changes us from the inside out, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for we know that if it weren't for you, if it weren't for your son and for your Holy Spirit, Father, we would be nothing, oh God. We could do nothing, oh God. Father God, we would not make it, oh God. So we thank you, God, for your strength, oh God, for you are the one who enable us to stand in the midst of what's going on in this world today, oh God. It is you who's able to enable us to stand, oh God, in the midst of whatever tests and trials we may be going through, even on tonight, Father. We thank you, God, that your word is true and your promises are true, oh God. Father, we thank you, God. Hallelujah, God, that you are yet with us, oh God. Father God, even when we misrepresent you, God, you are yet with us, Lord. And I thank you, God. Hallelujah, God, that you love us like you do. Hallelujah, that you're patient with us like you are. Lord, we just thank you. We're so grateful. We're so grateful, Father, for we know we don't deserve anything that you have done, anything that you have given, Lord God, and yet you continue to bless us, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. So on tonight, Father God, first we have to come before you, God, and we have to ask for forgiveness, Lord, where we have sinned against you, God. Hallelujah. Where we have fallen short, Father God. 
Lord God, we ask in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would forgive us, oh God, that you would help us, oh God, Father God, to get it right, oh God, not just repent, oh God, and say, forgive me, but Father, to turn away from that thing, whatever it is, oh God, Father God, that we will not, oh God, succumb to that temptation again. We will not succumb to that sin again, Father God. We will not practice sin, oh God. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you'll help us, oh God, where we're lacking, Father God, where we're falling short, oh God, where we are weak, oh God. Father, we need you, God, to make us strong, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. So we thank you for another chance, after chance, after chance, oh God, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, that your love is unconditional, oh God. Hallelujah, God, your love is the kind of love that we probably will never understand, oh God. But we're so grateful, Lord God, that you extend it to us every second of every day. Lord, we thank you. So Father, we go on, Father God, tonight praying to you, oh God, because Father God, we know that we still need you, God, to do even the more. You've done so much already, but God, we still need you to do even the more for us, oh God. Father God, we know that we need you to, to continue to do a work in us, oh God. We know, oh God, that all, everything going on in our lives, God, we need to hand it over to you, oh God. Father God, every weight, oh Father God, we lift it, oh God, and give it to you on tonight in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, help us, Lord God, to trust in you even the more, God. Help us where we're lacking in our faith tonight, oh God. Help us to grow in our faith, oh God, even the more, oh God. Father God, Father, we say we believe, oh God. Help us to believe you, God, even the more, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Father God, we thank you and we need you, God, to help us, oh God, to submit ourselves to you, God, to surrender ourselves to you, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, knowing that you are yet in control of everything, oh God. Father God, and we can trust in you, Father God, that you have our best interest at heart. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you love us and you have our best interest at heart. We thank you, God, that everything that is concerning us on tonight, it concerns you also, God. So, Father, we thank you, God, that you are moving on our behalf tonight, oh God. We thank you, God, Father God, that you have sent your angels on our behalf on tonight, God. We thank you, God, that, Father, you're already working some things out, oh God. Father, we thank you, God, that you're orchestrating and, and maneuvering things, oh God, for our good on tonight, Father. We thank you, God. Father God, we're standing on those promises on tonight, Father, because we know that you are yet God in every situation and circumstance, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord. We praise and honor your name. So, Father God, I pray for every concern, oh God, every need tonight, oh God. Father, I pray now and lifting all of them up to you tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus. For you see and you know and you understand, oh God, every scenario and every situation, oh God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that we know that you're able to handle it, oh God. We can't handle it, but we know that you can handle it, oh God. We know that you can make a way, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you can open some doors for us, oh God. And Father God, we trust in you enough to know that when you close the door, Father God, we believe that you know what you're doing. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. We praise and honor your name on tonight. So Father God, we pray now in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would help us, oh God in the name of Jesus, to love, oh God, as your word has told us on tonight. Father God, to love like you are requiring of us to love, to love God because it is our obligation, hallelujah, to love, oh God, to love others, oh God, to love our neighbors, oh God, to love even our enemies, oh God. Father, help us to love like you have required of us to love, oh God. Father God, teach us to love, oh God, like we're supposed to love. And then teach us, oh God, how to forgive, like we're supposed to forgive, God. Teach us, oh God, to have compassion, Father, like you have called us to have compassion for one another, Lord God. Father God, there are those who don't know you, God, and those who need to know you, God. And there are those who think they know you, God. But Father, we pray for each one of those, oh God, Father God, all of those who may be lost right now, Father God, and confused about who you are, we pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you would help us if we are one of those people, 
that you'll help them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that we may have understanding and clarity of mind about who you are and who your son Jesus is and what he did on the cross for us and what that means to us, what that means for our soul, Father, what that means for our future, what that means for us eternally, oh God. Father, we thank you, God. Remind us, Father God, every second of every day of who you are, God. Ha, hallelujah, God. Help us, oh God, to be reminded, oh God, Father God, what you're capable of doing, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. And even when we don't understand what you're doing, Father, Father, we ask, oh God, that you'll just help us, oh God, to stand anyway, to stand anyway, God, to go on anyway, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that we may walk by faith and not by sight, Father, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. Father, we thank you, God. Father, God, help us to understand that we don't have to always see everything that's up ahead, oh God. But Father, God, you know, God, the pathway. You have set the pathway, oh God. Father, God, you know what's up ahead. Even the crooked places, oh God. Even the rocky ground, oh God. Father, God, we know that you're able, oh God, to, to make the crooked places straight for us, oh God. Father, we know, oh God, that you can help us even when we have to climb some mountains, oh God. We know that you are with us, oh God, and we thank you, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we may, may even have to go through the valleys, oh God, but you are with us, oh God. Father, we thank you, God, that you are our strength, oh God. We thank you, God, that you are our stable mind, oh God, that you are our rest, oh God. Father God, we thank you that you are our joy, oh God. Hallelujah, God, a joy that most people don't even understand, oh God, even in the midst of turmoil, oh God, even in the midst of worry, oh God, even in the midst of sickness, oh God, hallelujah, God, even in the midst of financial turmoil, Father, we pray now thanking you that you are our joy, ha, huh? and you are our rest, oh God. Father God, we thank you, God, hallelujah, God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All glory and all honor be unto you, O oh God. Father, we pray for those tonight. Hallelujah. Who may yet be grieving loss tonight, that you will strengthen them, that you will encourage them. Hallelujah. Help them to understand, O oh God, that you're still God, even in the midst of it, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you are still in control of all of it. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Hallelujah. When we don't have all the answers to it all, God, help us, oh God, to be comforted still. Oh God, to be comforted still. Ha, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, God. Ha, ha, thank you, God. That we might be able to go on in this life, God, trusting and believing in you, oh God. Help us, oh God. Build us up where we need to be built up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And help us, oh God that we may not be torn down again, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, we pray for our families on tonight, that you will bless them, that you recover every household, that you would meet every need tonight, oh God, that you would touch today, that you would heal today, that you would deliver today, God, that you would make whole today, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Every need met to God tonight, God, in the name of Jesus, every need met, Father. In the name of Jesus, all is well, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we speak it and we claim it and we receive it. All is well in the name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Because we can trust in you. We can count on you. We believe in you. We're looking to you, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah, God. So, Lord God, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for the blood of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah, God, that was shed for us, oh God. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah, God. We have prayer requests on tonight specifically. We pray, oh God, for Wyomina, Wyomia, God. You know who she is, oh God. You know what she's going through on tonight, God. Father, we know that you are our healer, oh God. Father, God, we know that you are our creator, oh God. Father, we know that you know every inch of us, oh God, every organ, every cell, oh God, every blood vessel, every vein, every artery, every joint, Father God, every muscle, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, God. Father God, we pray for Elder Jordan's brother, oh God. 
Father God, that you truly are a healer where we're, we know that you are. We know without a doubt that you are God. So these two, oh God, these two, oh God, that we're lifting up to you tonight, God. Father God, we're speaking on tonight. We're speaking on tonight that you will touch, that you will heal, O oh God. But with his stripes, the blood of Jesus, with his stripes, we are healed, O oh God. So we're going before you, O oh God, on their behalf on tonight. Father God, we're speaking now, O oh God, O oh God, to her kidneys on tonight, Father God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hey, thank you, God. Hallelujah, God. Father God, that they would be in working order, Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, that you will touch now in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Hallelujah, God, her kidneys, oh God, her blood pressure, oh God, in the name of, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that they will come into right alignment, oh God, with your Holy Spirit, oh God, and what's already taken place and already taken care of and already done on the cross, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, God, we speak healing, we speak restoration now, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we pray for Elder Jordan's brother, oh God. Father God, Father God, he, he, I'm told he had a heart attack today. Father God, today, oh God, and we're praying today, tonight, oh God, that you, you're there with him, oh God. Hallelujah, God. And we pray, oh God, your special healing grace be upon him tonight in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah, God, that you will move upon him now and touch his heart, oh God. Hallelujah, God, that you will regulate, oh God. Hallelujah, the blood flowing in and the blood flowing out. Hallelujah, God, that you will regulate, God, the beating, that it'll beat on point like it's supposed to in the rhythm that, that's supposed to beat on rhythm, oh God. That you, God, will mend, oh God, that you, God, would heal, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah to your name, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you are able to give him a new heart, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, that you're with the both of them, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the doctor's office. Hallelujah, in the hospital, oh God. In the emergency room, oh God. On the operating table, oh God, wherever it is, wherever they are, Father, we pray that you're with them now, oh God. That your angels are encamped with them now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that you're maneuvering and working in the midst of the doctors and the nurses, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, that you will tell them and show them what to do, oh God, that they may get the absolute best care, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. And we pray for the families on tonight, that you would encourage them tonight. Encourage them tonight. Let them feel your presence on tonight, oh God. Remind them, God, that you're God. In the name of Jesus, God. Let them feel your presence tonight. In the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we praise you, God, and we honor you, God. Our glory and honor be unto you tonight, God. And so, Father God, we just pray for all of those who are joined, have joined and are viewing, oh God, we pray that you'll just help us as we go on, Lord, as we end this night, oh God, Father God, as we rest our minds and rest our bodies and rest our souls, oh God, and trusting everything that we are to you, Father God. Oh God, as we rest on tonight, Father God, we pray, oh God, that you would just cover us as we sleep. Oh God, that you're taking care of everything, oh God. So when we awaken in the morning, oh God, oh God, that your will will be done, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that all is yet well, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that as we have to leave this our homes, oh God, that you'll give us traveling grace, Father God, wherever it is that we find ourselves going, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you are with us, oh God, and that, Father God, that you prepare us for whatever lies ahead, oh God, prepare us, oh God, Father God, to do whatever the work is that you're requiring of us to do, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, help us, oh God, we may be confused about something, oh God, give us clarity, oh God, Give us guidance, oh God. Give us wisdom, oh God. Give us discernment, oh God. Give us understanding, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And then God, help us to be bold about whatever it is that you're requiring of us to do, oh God, that we may represent you well, Father, in the name of Jesus. And then if there's somebody, hallelujah, that you put in our path, 
Lord God, this week that you put in our path. Father God, help us to be sensitive to your leading, sensitive to your voice, sensitive to your spirit, God, to minister to that person, oh God, to let your light shine through us with them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, give us the words to say, oh God. Give us the actions to take, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, show us, teach us how to love, a godly love, God, that others will see you, God, that our lives will be a ministry to you, oh God. Father, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. And if there's any on the line that, that themselves who need healing, I speak now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. That everything that's out of sort will come into right alignment with your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. Help us to stay focused on you today, oh God. Focused on you this week today, God. Help us to stay focused on you, oh God. No matter what else is going around us, no matter what we see on the news, whatever we hear about, oh God. Help us to stay focused on you, Father. We thank you and we love you, Lord, and we honor you today. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray this prayer and ask these blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We honor you, God. We reverence you, God. Hallelujah, God. We are nothing without you, God. Hallelujah. So we're grateful. We're grateful. We're grateful. We're grateful. All right. Thank you all so much for joining once again. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful night. Have a wonderful, fantastic week. Um, we are going to continue um, our series on um, the warning passages in the book of Hebrews. We had a break on last week, a needed break. Um, but we're going to jump right back into it and finish off um, the warning passages four and five. So on Thursday night, uh, we will be back at it at seven o'clock. So I hope to see you on as well. Um, and next Sunday, we'll we'll be here again for our next um, prayer, our prayer line, our Facebook Live prayer. So again, I thank you so much all for joining on tonight. Um, have a peaceful night. God bless you. And we'll talk real soon. All right. Thanks so much and be blessed.